people are saying to me in the comments that they want to see more of the boats which uh, is understandable so here we go here it is um, pretty ready to go now I think the thing that's uh, most important is that maybe see from the flags here the wind sock down there we moved the boat about an hour and a half two hours ago in the darkness and um, at that point it was kind of like <laughs> I was feeling like, oh, it's just going to be uh, no wind today, so why did I bother doing this? But very quickly it's become apparent that <laughs> here comes the wind and it was absolutely the right move. So we've got the J5 on the bow ready to go now. I've demounted the, um, the staysail um, gear, the furling gear for the staysail, so we can just work solely with that little jib. We're going to be beating, so we don't need the staysail at the moment. The main is exposed and look at those sail ties. Look at those sail ties, how good do they look compared to the junk that was on there before. There's just a big mess of sail ties there before. We've got the main halley attached, there's a zip tie on up there, and you can see how the main halley comes down and goes through that first sail tie, which keeps it away from the mast and stops it thrumming against the mast. We've got the big jib, the uh, J3 is on the deck and lashed down. That's a really difficult sail for me to move. It's a hank on jib. There's no roller furling on this bow at the moment. And um, getting it up out the hatch and back in again is very, very difficult. So it's lashed in place. It's a bit kind of ugly, but it's very, very functional. Um, what else we got going on here? Well, the boom's lowered down, kind of ready for, um, ready for putting the mainsail up. And at the back here, we've got my little holder for my phone. The back stay is on, so we've got a bit of bend in our rig. We're ready to go there. And then there she is at the back, ready for action. So uh, inside, we're good to go now. I've just finished stowing everything in the lazarette and making sure that everything's uh, secure in there. We don't want things flying around. We know we're going to be bouncing around a little bit. Jib sheets are on and flakes in the bags. I did that short a little while ago called um, How to Avoid a Snake's Wedding or something, just doubling the lines over like we're gonna, you know, put them away for storage, but then halfway through stopping, folding them up, put them in the bags. Main sheets ready to go. Um, yeah, we're kind of ready for action. Oh, little, little details here. That was something, right? And then here we go, the back stay is forward. I said I'd show you this. So when you're putting a big mainsail like this up, we've got two back stays, which we'll get into that later on and see how that works. But one of the back stays has got to be secured forwards so that when I go to put that mainsail up, it's not getting jammed going up the, um, going, trying to go up between the two mainsail, uh, between the two back stays. And if we go inside, there's the cockpit all ready to go so yeah not really a boat that's set up for solo sailing but if you're prudent you can uh you can make it happen so welcome to my abode you've seen quite a lot of this but yeah just we're ready to go all the jobs are basically done not everything of course it is a boat i've got my uh my gift for tom is under here i found this in the uh uh can you see that properly? Or maybe maybe that's what's hiding it. There you go. It's, it's something something in here I found in a uh, secondhand shop for 15 pounds or something. I'm not really sure how to move one of those on a boat, but um, Tom is joining me in Iceland. He's been doing all the filming and stuff that you can see there. He's bringing his drone. He's doing loads of effort to really get some amazing capture on this trip from Iceland to Newfoundland. And I know he's a mad keen guitarist. So when I saw that in the... Uh, Second hand shop, I was like, I know a man that can put that to use. Um, bean bags are up, out the way now. Nav station's ready to go, nice and tidy in here. Do need to get some more lights at the back of the boat here. It's very, very dark. There's the day tank and the transfer pump and we're all ready to go there. Still got a leak. I've been sealing off. I, I've now reduced this from five major leaks to one major leak, so get on with that. Toolbox over there, fire extinguisher, loads of safety gear on this boat, and we'll get into that uh, as we're making our way around in future episodes. 
and my my bunk where I am. And uh, normally I would sleep if I had a crew. I'd be sleeping back here, but um, and then I can sort of see the nav station. But I'm on my own, and I'll be monitoring a lot of the um, navigation just with a, a link through to my iPad. There's a wireless subnet on this, or no, what's it called? Well, I suppose it's just an intranet on the boat that uh, uh, connects all of the instruments to my iPad. Um, and then what we got going on here? Just going to have. Uh, something to eat and a coffee and uh bathrooms kind of sorted out i'm trying to still get rid of the smell that's in here this is my plug at the moment Boop, in you go there and there's our torpedo uh, electric outboard i did the review for hasn't been used in ages uh yeah that's it and then the four peak all ready to, ready to go in here Tidy, tidy. Someone was asking me what are the sails at the very, very front here. It's storm sails uh, over on the right hand side with a light kite on top, and then a uh, Code 5, like a spare Code 5, sitting over on the port side with the vinyl wrap that we need to have put on the boat soon on the other side. And then this is our reaching staysail. And then this is the boom cover, which is going to be here for a little while to dry out uh, until it gets tied up and, uh, and got ready for see there's the the wheel covers drying out so uh, it's really good for me having the opportunity to share all this stuff with you guys because then of course i make sure i do things right so i'm taking you for a tour around the boat i know there are people who will know what's uh how you know how things should be but um yeah just a quickie here just to say we're on our way and this is what uh we're looking like i say people saying to me that they want to see a bit more of the boat but um yeah i'm pretty i'm looking forward to this trip I'm just waiting now for the guys in the office so I can do my paperwork with them. And then we're gonna turn and burn, get out into the channel and I'll start filming. So I will see you uh, very, very soon. Yeah, uh, That's just, just a quickie here from me and uh, I look forward to sharing the rest of this trip with you as soon as I can. Speak to you soon, cheers.